Hello everyone, so today I wanted to share a method uh, through which I get very cheap cable like for wiring systems up or even general hookup wire on breadboards uh, and you could do this using ethernet cable so I had an ethernet cable lying around that I didn't really need so this is a really good way to get cable cheaply so what you do is you separate out uh, the four twisted pairs and then once you've done that you just tie one of them to something and you then put the other end of that cable um, into a drill. Now the reason that I'm separating out the twisted pairs themselves is because of the colour schemes. So I'm wanting brown and blue together. So uh, that's why I'm separating them out. So this end goes in your drill and you just run the drill in whatever direction will untwist uh, these strands. So a practical use uh, for these strands will be wiring up my battery management modules. And the wire is just uh, put into the chuck of the drill like this. So when you're doing this you just want to put a bit of tension on it and then for this rather long cable it may take a few minutes so you just bear with it and then once nearly all the twist is out of the cable you can then just uh, separate them very easily. So that's pretty much all the twist out so then what you do is just run your hand through it like this and concentrate any leftover twist up at the drill and then just undo it so there's not very much in this case. Okay so this next step is quite important if you want to twist the wires again uh, in a new colour scheme. So you have to short the ends together like this and that's because later on once they are twisted and under tension I'm going to pass an electric current through them to heat them up and then that makes it hold its shape. You don't want to get them roasting hot or they'll melt uh, so you just probably want to blip it very very briefly just with maybe 12 volts until it heats up but I'm going to try different voltages um, probably just a single cell lithium ion battery would uh, do it quite well in this case. So then what you're going to do is just run your, your drill with the new colours in it until there's a decent twist. Okay, so that should do it for the twist. So you're going to have to watch here because it's going to be under quite a bit of tension. And if you don't keep the tension on it, it's just going to tangle itself up when you let go of it. So now I'm going to pass a current through it. So I'm not really going to be able to do this with one hand, I don't think, but um, I'll try different voltages just now and I'll report back which one works the best. Okay, so much to my surprise, not even 12 volts is heating up that much. It sparks a little bit when I put the voltage in, so uh, I'll need to try a bit more. Here we go, 6 cell electric bike battery. So this is about... 22 volts Okay, so that was a bit of a pain in the backside, so I had to run 22 volts through that for a bit uh, 5 or 10 seconds But um, you could probably use less voltage if your length of cable is shorter It will just depend uh, And it would also be much better doing this inside because the wind won't be cooling down the cable And making the process more difficult So there we go that's now got no twist tension in it at all. And we'll have a nice twisted pair uh, with more standard colour codes for power. <laughs> 